Welcome to Red 2026.2. For low latency video streaming support with hardware acceleration, we added the AV1 and H265 video codecs. Find these in the Streaming app, Settings, Codec section. This increases the speed and quality of image streams over the network compared to software encoding and decoding. We added support for the X-Write and Substance Sheen parameter by adding Sheen layer support for plastic materials. When a plastic material is selected, in the attributes, a Sheen section is found with the following options. Use Sheen adds a multi-scattered Sheen layer atop any other layers when enabled. Weight sets the amount of Sheen applied. The higher the value, the more the Sheen. Roughness sets the randomness of the Sheen's fiber orientation. The higher the value, the more random the fibers are oriented. Color sets the color of the sheen. Use texture determines whether a texture is used or not for the sheen. When enabled, more options appear for modifying the texture placement and size. We added a conversion option for the deprecated velvet and woven cloth materials. When loading a scene containing either of these materials, a dialog appears with the option for converting them into a plastic material with sheen, recreating a similar, but not exact material. Choosing yes converts these materials. If no is chosen, nothing is converted. However, in Vulkan, these materials will display a signal color when rendered, but will be fine in other renderers. We removed support for 6.0 and 2014 BRDF models, and now only support the latest BRDF model, as it is the only model supported in Vulkan. An informational dialog appears and the BRDF model is automatically converted. As a result of this change, the BRDF behavior option was removed from render settings and the BRDF behavior and update BRDF behavior from file options from the render settings preferences. We reduced faceting to hide low tessellation when using subsurface scattering, where light intensity rapidly decreases as it penetrates and scatters within a material. We've added deep learning anti-aliasing mode as an alternative to the quality DLSS option. DLAA focuses on enhancing visual quality at native resolution and only denoises and anti-aliases. It employs AI to produce detailed frames without upscaling, which requires greater processing power. We added reference node to the scene graph filter list. Now, after clicking Import, a new button, Abort Selected, appears in Import Files dialog. Use it to abort the import of a specific file. We added support for OpenColorIO color grading in the display cluster and for the tone mapping sensor response option for the physical camera tone mapper in Vulkan. We've improved the ray-traced and ray-traced ambient occlusion environment shadow quality when DLSS is disabled. Applications like Powerwall or Cave require the VRED display cluster. When using display cluster with Vulkan, manipulators, annotations, measurements, and VR avatars are now supported and rendered. There are still other auxiliary visualization nodes, such as the view cube, that are not supported and therefore, not visible when using a display cluster with Vulkan. We've made enhancements to real-time AA memory usage by decreasing RAM usage by up to 10% when enabled and used along with real-time ray tracing effects, such as ray traced reflections, ray traced ambient occlusion, or ray traced environment shadows. With live reference, alias environments, curves, variant data, and layered shaders can now be brought into VRED. Like with other live referenced content, when either of these is modified in alias, the VRED user will be notified. NURBS Curves Now, modifications to curves and layer colors in alias are supported by a live referencing. A VRED user can live reference NURBS curves from alias to VRED as polylines, with the alias layer colors used to define the curve material colors in VRED. Variant Data Now a VRED user can live reference variant data from alias. The naming convention and the hierarchy of the variant preview image visibility state 
Material updates for material switches through variant switching and viewports from Alias are brought into Vred. Invisible layers and objects must be enabled in Alias for the visibility feature to work. Only Alias-enabled variant states are transferred. Environments. Now, a Vred user can live reference environments from Alias, enabling Vred to use the same environment. When Vred pulls in one or more environments from a live reference, synchronizing with Alias, an environment switch is created in Vred containing these environments. Whenever a live referenced environment is modified in Alias, the Vred user will receive an update. Thanks for watching the video.